A walkie man is facing an animal neglect charge after videos from a neighbor allegedly shows him kicking a dog and pulling that dog into the house by its collar. The man in the video is said to be Zach Brooks, an outdoor guide now lost his sponsorship because of the charge. Local 5's Lake and McGee has the story on what is being done to help the dog. The dog's name is Echo and we have no idea on his condition, no word just yet. But we do have the video that was posted on social media. And I do have to warn you before we play them, it does show Echo being physically abused. This man is Zach Brooks. He's Echo's owner. In three videos posted to social media, you see Echo being dragged into the house, Brooks doing a kicking motion, and eventually something large was thrown at what appears to be Echo's direction. In the criminal complaint against Brooks, he admits to kicking and throwing things at Echo multiple times. Someone that would treat a dog like that simply shouldn't have it. And it's gotten the attention of the Animal Rescue League. Unfortunately, I've got to say that he looked rather calm on one of the videos where he's lifting the dog by the collar and throwing it in the house. That says to me that this is not a remorseful, spur of the moment, kind of a anger situation. In the other two videos, he looks angry in one, and the purpose of throwing a fairly heavy item at, at the dog uh, is just confusing. I spoke with the man who took the videos. He says people need to focus their efforts on helping Echo legally and not tracking down the abuser. He wants everyone to remember there are children inside the home. So I tried to get in touch with Zach Brooks. His neighbors tell me he has not been home. I also tried calling the Waukee Police Department to see if Echo was still in the home, but they didn't answer. The ARL's director of legal tells me Waukee Police is yeah. doing something. They have filed charges for animal neglect. Uh, I believe based on the absence of food and water in the garage where the dog is being kept. Uh, we believe that animal abuse charges are warranted here. And they believe House File 737 will help them do that. Last spring, lawmakers determined owners can face charges for abusing their own animals. You think there's enough evidence there to remove the dog from the home? Absolutely. We would very likely have not heard about this if, if someone didn't get involved take those videos, step forward and make that possible. And the ARL tells me that they're getting a ton of emails asking why they haven't removed Echo from the home. They want to remind the community that they legally don't have the authority to enforce that. I'm Lake and McGee for Local 5 News. We are Iowa. Well, for years, Iowa's animal abuse laws have lagged behind the rest of the country. We're just getting to the point where change is happening. Echo's case is getting the attention of local city council members. The underlying cause is that our laws still don't do enough. Um, so we need to address that. But then also we need to push the boundaries and work within the laws that we do have. Um, I, think, I think there's some cautious optimism that we might be able to remove this puppy um, under the laws that we do have, given the overwhelming amount of evidence that there is. Bergman says she is in contact with the Dallas County attorney. You may be asking what you can do if you come across this type of situation. The leaders with the Animal Rescue League of Iowa say if you witness an animal in distress and you think it's safe to talk to the owner, then do that. They say offering to help with shelter and food can really help the situation. Now, if that's not possible, safely take some video and turn that over to law enforcement. Amy Hines with a Hines Pet and uh, Pet Rescue says pictures and video are vital to building an abuse case. Hines says to also call authorities, whether that is police, the county sheriff or animal control, but warns their hands are often tied since they must work within Iowa's animal abuse laws.